What do you mean, Eugene? Well, first, one, one, one thing. Oh, brother. I'm talking about, you know, I'm picking, matter of fact, people call me a black chief. Oh, really? Why? Because they say you, oh, with the long hair. Hey, you mind putting that out? Oh, we got a, uh, yeah, yeah. We talked to the brother before. It's all good? Yeah, yeah. Check this out. Can you give me your numbers, 1 and 18, Bobby Kashan? I'm I'm already hit. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 Esau. Come on, Esau. Esau. Hmm. So, check this out. This is Numbers, the first chapter, the 18th verse. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Right. And they declared their pedigree. Do you know what pedigree means? I wish y'all know what it means because I know what it is. It's dog food. Oh, well, yeah, that, that is your real. What, uh, what, what's your name? Hey. 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 Okay. Hey, uh, so your pedigree in the Bible is talking about your bloodline. So remember, I was asking you your lineage, like what's your daddy and you the. It's not, but it's everybody changes every season. Everybody change. You can't change. There's no nothing, nothing new under the sun, and God doesn't change. People change. Color. People change color. Oh, you mean they get lighter or darker? But we're not talking about color. We're talking about a bloodline, like who who you descend from, your descendancy, right? But finish that. Hold on. So the Israelites assembled all together and they declared what bloodline they come from after their, declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. By the house of what? By the house of their fathers. By the house of your father. We know who you are uh, according to who your daddy is. Now you told me your daddy is a so-called white man, right? Right. Okay. And uh, you said his daddy, did you say, you said you had some natives in your family somewhere, right? I did. Who, who would have named My dad's mother was kind of Can a leopard change his spots? Say it one more time. At a night. At a night. At a night one. What, say it again. And the, and the street. My background got, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, say, your background, say it again. I got Indian in my background. You got Indian in your back, right? Right. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Did you, uh, did you, did you celebrate uh, Thanksgiving yesterday? You did. But you got natives in your family, right? Let me show you something. Where is that sign? Keep that sign at night. Take this out. Uh, a. You, did you know that's what happened to the Native Americans? Your people got done like that by who? Who was the people that got them in slavery right there? White folks. White folks. So your, your, your ancestors enslaved your ancestors is what you're telling me. Right. And you celebrate. Well, you don't celebrate that. You don't celebrate? You, what did you? You celebrate Thanksgiving, right? On a different level. That same, you, on another level? How many levels are there that's Thanksgiving? That's what, you know what I'm saying? I'm listening. The way I put it is that's the way the white man put it. Right. But me personally, so I'll put it as happiness. Thanks. Thanksgiving is happiness. Thanks for giving. I'm, I'm, asking, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. Okay, let me bring this out while you think about it. Check this out. So I'm not trying to think about trying to think about how, like, how to say it. Good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good way to, when you figure so that out. I can understand because people okay. don't understand the way I talk. Like, the way I put it is that they uh, people gather around, you know what I'm saying, uh, with yes, their sir. families, and they're supposed to be happy. Right, 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 yeah. right. Okay, so that's the way I, you know what I'm saying. That's about the simplest way. That's how it be. It's crazy because a lot of people, they're supposed to be happy, but a lot of people, they get together and start to argue and fight. Right. You know, <laughs> Black Thanksgiving. Right. So check this out. Hey, this is Jeremiah 13 and 22. Uh -huh. Well, 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin? Can an Ethiopian change his color? I don't know. What, you know what an Ethiopian is? What's an African? What's that? An African person? You know what an African is? African, an uh, African person, an African name, a person from Africa. Can they change their color? No, I mean. Okay. But or the leopard, his spots, and a leopard change his spots. Nah, he ain't a chameleon, right? 
right? And is that on? Oh, that's more for Thank you. Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. So if you wicked, you won't always do wicked. Right. Or if you good, you're gonna do good, you know what I mean? But the wicked do wickedly. Can you give me that in Daniel? Uh, is that 12? It's 12 and 10 or something like that? At the end. Uh, but the wicked are gonna do wickedly and the righteous, the righteous are gonna be righteous and the wicked are gonna be wicked. You know, right. paraphrasing. But the point is, you know, you say you, you got Native Americans in your family, right? And you celebrate Thanksgiving, man. It ain't no way you can explain that. Like if I, if I, if I, God forbid, if a person, God forbid, killed my family member, right? They killed all my family members. And then they, they had a, a celebration and you my homie, right? They had a celebration every single year on the same day. And you my homeboy, like my main squeeze, we've been together since kindergarten. But one day I creep past at the celebration and you coming out the door. It don't matter how it look. It don't matter what you say. If them niggas ain't dead in there, I know you was celebrating with them. You understand? You was with them. You know, check this out. It's Daniel 12 and 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly. What the wicked gonna do? The wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. This don't make no sense to the wicked. But the wise shall understand. But the wise, they gonna understand what I'm saying. That's the reason why a lot of the white folks, right? Your people. Your people. They dead. A lot of them. They know it's a walking dead. They walking. You right about that? That you right about that? Okay. God says, don't use his knowledge for evil. Right. And who uses his knowledge for evil? The Esau. White the so-called white man, your daddy. My dad wasn't, you know what I'm saying? He, I was said he was white. He wasn't a bad white man. He was a black woman. I mean, so are you saying, what about the slave owners that stole them black women and, ra and raped them? Were they bad? He truly loved them. Okay. It, no, 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 hey, no, Esau. No, 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 no. God bless you. Huh? God bless you. Esau, God has already blessed us. We worship the Most High God, Yahweh. Do you know about the Bible? Not to cut you off. Pretty good. Okay. What color is Christ? Christ? Yes, sir. Have you, do you see a picture of him down here? What does he look like? Well, look at all the pictures. You see all the pictures? Yeah. I say that Christ looked like his people, and his people were Hebrews. Right. What the Hebrews look like? Well, they don't look like me. Nah, they don't look like you. That's right. <laughs> but, but it's crazy that you say that because yeah. when I see the war over there in Israel and all the people that they call Jewish, they look like you. So are they lying or what, what's the deal with that? The Jews did? Yeah. The Jews went to Europe? A lot of them did. And then they came back to Israel. Okay. So why would the Jews go to Europe when, you remember when Christ was born, right? Where did he go to live uh, when he was a baby when Herod was chasing him? Egypt. He went to Egypt. Why didn't why did he go to Europe? Well, it was a different time. Different time, different rulership around and stuff like that. What about when Moses was a baby? Why did he go to Europe? Mm, that's good. He didn't go to Europe. He went to the desert. He went Moses. Well, he, that's after he killed the Egyptian. But when he was a baby, they they sailed him. He was in he was in Egypt, right? He was in. That's how he got his name. Right. So so eight, Moses was hundreds of years, if not a thousand years, before Christ, yes, and he went to Egypt. Yes. Christ comes. Christ goes. Right. 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 So Christ comes, and he was in Egypt. Why did uh, why would the Jews fl flee into Europe? Why would they do that? Um, well, it's crazy stuff. But you know, it's great that you're, you're, you're spreading the word. Yes, sir. This is our salvation. Well, you say our. It, I, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get to salvation really quickly. But I just want to know why. Why do you think that that they, Christ and Moses, went to Egypt, but the Jews, as a collective people, they went into Europe? Why would they do that? Like if, 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 if the Lord told Christ, he told Gabriel to tell the mother, or actually he told Joseph to go to, he take the baby and the child and the mother to Egypt, right? In order to blend in, right? I wish I had. 
to survive, but he had to blend in because they were looking for the child. They wanted to know who was this child. Same as Moses. They wanted to, so if he goes to Europe, you know, he might would have blended in better if the Jews looked like you. But if the Jews looked like us, he would go to Egypt and say, you know, he would blend in better, right? If he looked like me. He actually went to Egypt, because I could go to Egypt it, it, it back then, and you couldn't tell me apart from anybody else, right? That's why when Christ was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, uh, Judas had to kiss Paul, uh, 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 Jesus, to identify him from the, the Roman soldiers who are Italians. The Italians couldn't tell the Jews apart because they looked like Jews. Now, when, when in the Bible did Christ, did the Lord say the Jews are going to look like Italians? or Romans. Jews don't look like Romans, but he did, he had to separate the, the way that they look and distinguish them from the a Africans. Jesus didn't look like this or no. this. That's from the Europeans. Who right. Like, like well, you said that they went to Europe, the Jews went to Not Europe. All of them. They right. The world. Okay, right. They, we were scattered. Were first, right. right. They were, because, because the Muslim yeah, yeah. Check, check this out real really quick. We're going to read the Bible. I did a lot of talk. No, I just wanted to put that point that, uh, uh, that Kat was talking about, that when Moses, uh, when he fled Egypt, like if he went out into the field, he ran into the Midianite. And I just want to show, show that point where he uh, showed that he had a different color than what you think. Right. This is, uh, this is Exodus 2 and 18. And when they came to Riel, their father, he said, how is it that you are come so soon today? Because they were out there and they're going to water the flocks. These were women that were watering the flocks and usually they have to wait to the end. Mm -hmm. And they said, an Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherd. A what? An Egyptian. Uh, Egyptian, they, they mistake Moses for an Egyptian. So we understand if you know you know the, the, the lineage, uh, can you give me a, what, Mizraim? Most of uh, the Egyptians are Africans. The Egyptians in the Bible are, at, real Egyptians are Africans. The Philistines are Africans. All those are dark nations. Um, get my Zondervan, uh, get my Zondervan out of my bed. Yeah. So, so if they must take Moses for being an African, Moses had to look like a black man. Well, he certainly had black hair. No, Zondervan, I might not. He certainly had black hair and black eyes, no doubt about it. Black hair and brown eyes? Well, what about his skin? Not really know, right. but it wasn't, it wasn't this pale pink stuff that I got. No, no, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. <laughs> now, the Bible says that uh, when Moses, uh, the Lord had Moses stick his hand in his bosom and pull it out, his hand became like your skin, and he called it leprous. When Miriam turned white like your skin, the, uh, the Bible says that Moses cried and said, no, Lord, no, no, no. Uh, Aaron cried and said, no, Lord, don't let her be like one that is dead. That's what the Bible said. That when, because when it, people would pay them out when they died. Yeah, and, and, right. And that was unnatural to them because they were black people. Is that what you wanted? Kind of. Uh, that's right. That's right. All right. This, this is uh, Genesis 10. I'll start at 6. And the sons of Ham. The sons of Ham, the African nations. Cush and Mizraim. Mizraim is the father of the Egyptians. Let's prove it. Ham. The youngest son of Slack, Slack, Slack. Uh, show them what you're reading, Ken. This is the Tom Zonderman Compact Bible Dictionary. Yeah. Scholars, right? Right, right, right? Let's see what it says about Ham. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. Uh -huh. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. We just read about Ham right here. He's, the, he's, the, he's one of Noah's sons. So we're reading about it, him. He became the progenitor of the dark races. What kind of races? And he became the progenitor of the dark races, right. not the Negro. Hold on, hold on. You mean the, the black man? Hold, hold on. Not the Negro. He became the progenitor of the dark races, races but not the Negroes. Not the Negroes, but the Egyptians. The who? The Egyptians. The who? The Egyptians. Uh -huh. The Ethiopians, right. the Libyans, right. and the Canaanites. Those are all dark nations. Uh, Exodus you know, eleven you know and seven. Where the first Christians were primarily Africa, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. And because, and, and, and that's interesting, my bad. And that's interesting because, oh yeah, get your axe ten. Uh, that's interesting because, like you said, most people think the Jews, the so-called Jews, have. Um, can you give me uh, Jeremiah fourteen two? 
they think the Jews had fled into Europe and they only came from Europe. Hitler, Hitler had uh, took the Jews from Europe and nowhere else. And he put them in ovens and they was in, you know, uh, 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 yeah, for, for six years, five or six years. But the real Jews, according to the Bible, let's see, check this out. This is Exodus 11 and verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel, the children of who? The children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Can't no other nation say nothing about the children of Israel. Against man or beast, right? That they may, Salakia, that ye may know how that the Lord do put a difference between the Egyptian and Israel. He put a difference between who? The Egyptian in Israel. So this right. is in the book of Exodus. When Moses, we were in slavery there, the Lord said he has to put a difference between the Africans and the Israelites. They look like each other, but there's a difference. Sure. The Lord chose the Israelites, right? <laughs> Those are dark-skinned people. Give me, uh, let me, let me prove it. Check this out. King James, yeah, I know that. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah concerning the dark. Right. Judah's morning in the gates are of language. The Bible says the Jews, Judah, they're, they're mourning because we're always getting oppressed, right? And, and our gates, our leadership, language. We don't have any leadership. We look to rappers and stuff like that. The real Jews, the black men, come on. They are black unto the ground. What color are the Jews? They are black unto the ground. That's right. And the cry of Jerusalem is going up. Can you give me Lamentations 4 and 10? 4 and 8. Uh, one, more, one more scripture real quick. Yeah. This is New Testament scripture right here. Acts 13 and 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets uh -huh. and teachers right. as Bernabas uh -huh. and Simeon that was called nigger. They were called what? Nigger. Uh-uh. What did you say? Nigger. They were called nigger. The prophets and so on. <laughs> you never seen that one before. They didn't explain that out in church. Acts 13 and 1. You bring out the oh. Don't they say that? You want it? They, but yeah, they 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 spelled it that way. But the real oh, he won't put it up in the real the real uh, pronunciation. So the Niger River is something that's fairly new. There was no place called Niger. That's really uh, it, it's nigger and it means black. So they were calling the prophets. Right. So they were calling. That's what I'm saying. They were calling the prophets and and the Book of Acts. Black. Oh, right. They were black men. These are black people. Uh, let, let me let me let me bring this. Yeah, I'm gonna push this and play. This is uh G3526. Nigger. The outline usage for that word is black. Black. So the prophets in the book of Acts, they were still calling them black. So I wanted to know when did the Jews turn white or pale or or any other color other than black? Oh, let me say sports. When did they, you know, and, and we just we just bringing out some things that we got questions about. Well, yeah. When they moved out of sunny places, you know? Okay. Check this out. Check this out. Uh, limitations four and eight. Their visage is blacker than a coat. Their visage is, is that means the way, they, the way they look is what? It's blacker than coat. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaves to their bones. It is vivid. It has become like a stick. The Bible says their visage is blacker than a coal. So they got black. They got black when, you know, give me five and ten. Let me take five and ten. The Bible says that they look, their visage, the way they look, they blacker than a coal. Check this one out. Lamentations 5 and 10. Our skin was black like an oven. Our what? Our skin was black like an oven. The skin was black like an oven. Now, I don't know how true it is, but I heard, excuse me, I heard that um, Hitler put the, the people that were calling themselves Jews, can you give me two and nine? Uh, he put them in ovens because they said that they were Jews when the Jew, real Jews are black people. They're really black. The so-called Negroes uh, that were taken in uh, captivity from Africa, we were taken and put into all these different nations. That's Those right, are the real right. Jews. Those That's are real Jews. Skin color dark. Say it again. That's true. Why their skin color dark? Who? Jews. The Jews? No, our, our skin color has been dark because the Lord put melanin in us. We are. Christ is a black man. Can we bring that out. Um, you got. Would you, would you, would you, would you, 
<laughs> yeah, you know he's a black man. Bryce is a, a, a real black man. You gone? You gotta run. Okay, the, the most high, you know, we, we he already blessed us and we are we are gaining in his understanding and growing in his knowledge. What's your name? John, nice to meet you, John. You got the name of one of the prophets. But the prophets come from Israel. You know, the, uh, the Israelites, here you go. You might want to think the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the children of Israel, John. So, John the Baptist, he would have come from the, the tribe of Levi. He would be a Haitian. You know who are ha Haiti? People from Haiti? The real dark skinned man. John the Baptist would have been a real dark skinned man. John, right? John the Revelator, I think he was from the tribe of Judah, but it, it goes. These three tribes are the black people. These are Native Americans and Hispanic people. And you know who's the first person to write that Native Americans Oh, Christopher Columbus. John Smith. John Smith. Oh, the Mormon dude. dude. Oh, you're talking about John oh, yeah. Smith. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He lays it all in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Joseph, yeah, we, yeah, we know a little bit about him, man. He, he's something different, man. He's a... Uh, we don't, we don't really believe anything he says, but I mean, even sometimes a dog can, can get something right every now and then. Did you get that? Yeah. Uh, come on, check this out. It's Isaiah 29 and 22. And therefore, thus said the Lord who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall not, Jacob shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. Jacob ain't gonna do what? His face shall not wax pale. Jacob's face ain't gonna wax pale. You know what I mean? His face, hey man. Not all of Jacob. You know, I know we are, yeah. I know we are, uh, yeah. I know, I know. I know. Yeah. Revelation. It's all good. We could have, we could have brought Yeah, that's what I was hoping we would jump to. God, the color of Christ. Man, I got the talking, man.